right, so everyone wants to live the American dream, but there could be a dark side when there are secrets and lies. It's pretty spicy. In this new book, we're happy to be joined by the author of the new book, A Palm Beach Wife, Susanna Marin. Welcome here to CT Style. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. No doubt about it. So give us the overview of the book without giving too much away. Yes, no spoilers. <laughs> so this is my, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> My 15th book. Wow. I am a gender professor at Marymount Manhattan College, and under my real name, I've published 13 nonfiction books on how women feel, why they keep secrets, why they lie, ah. why they're rivalrous, why they are fighting with friends so or clearly an expert Ooh, yes. on this mother's book. I feel like we should have so, you on the show more for this. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So I took all that I researched and I put it into this novel that I agree is a bit spicy uh -huh. and Palm Beach is almost a character in the book because Palm Beach is so rarefied and glittering and magical and wealthy but what if one woman has a secret and has a husband who's tanking Ooh. and what do you do and oh how boy. do you survive right and it's 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 got to be steamy in the sense that she has a lot of these high-class friends and what exactly. comes into play and who's gonna be by her side who will be there her? for her and who will betray her uh -huh. and then there's a whole mother-daughter aspect to it she has a 22 year old daughter and of course there's some friction there because I did a study on mothers and daughters mm. but really we're looking at a wife a Palm Beach wife. Why is she so judged by her friends? Why is it such a tough society? And why is that a universal problem mm -hmm. for women? But perhaps it's the city. Could it be just Palm Beach? Or do you see that Well, that was why I wanted to put it in Palm Beach because I've been there often. My parents were residents for years. Mm -hmm. And I would walk down Worth Avenue, which is so beautiful and so elegant and so fancy. And I would say, is everyone happy here? Right. Because my nonfiction research mm -hmm. yielded that women are not always so happy, right. but pretend that they are. So we have Faith, the character, who really has to save herself and wake up. I, I feel like there's a lot of correlation here with Connecticut because there are some towns that are incredibly you think about the wealthy. Some rarefied towns. Yeah. Sure, everywhere. Think of Beverly Hills, Rodeo mm -hmm. Drive. But this place is so magical to so many women, but secretly they're working very hard to sustain themselves. There are clans and cliques. As I said, there's backbiting. So we see what happens to Faith along the way. Uh -oh. And she owns a shop. Oh. It's called Vintage Tales, and it's a consignment shop, and she sells high end goods very high end. So of course women come in to sell to save themselves when they're losing ah, their the So she has a lot of connections with right. those people. So she's, a, she's what we call a pleaser, a perfect person, hmm. except then she's almost outed when her husband fails. Wow, oh so you mentioned wild. Worth Avenue. Are there fictitious places? Oh, that's such a good question. Yes, there is. This book has the real places that people will know right away. Mm -hmm. And then her shop, if you go to Worth Avenue and you look for vintage tales, you won't really find it. Mm -hmm. Ah, so not that's there. Fictive. <laughs> and, and obviously you've done a lot of research through your career and everything that you do day in and day out. But are there any people in your life or people that you know that kind of inspired some of these roles or, or characters in the book? Having interviewed such a diverse group of women for each of my nonfiction studies. Mm -hmm. I feel that women have such emotional issues that are everywhere. It doesn't matter if you graduated from high school or you have an MBA from Harvard. If mm -hmm. you don't like your sister-in-law or your mother-in-law, if your daughter's giving you a Ooh. problem, if your friend is toxic, it's, a, it's what happens. But then Palm Beach, again, like I said, that's how the it fire. escalates, right? right? <laughs> Next it level. escalates, exactly. That's oh, wild. So that's the problem there. That's great. You are going to be at R.G. Julia's. Tonight at 7 o'clock tonight. Cool. I and, can't wait. And we invite all of our viewers to check it out. Uh, it's right there in Madison and it's a beautiful bookstore as well. Just a fun experience to go and check that out. So Susanna, we want to thank you for your time. Thank Congratulations. You for me. 16th book now, huh? 15th. F 15th. I'm, out I'm out last week. Very cool. So well, excited. We can find it pretty much everywhere, right? Everywhere. Boom. Very check good. it out. Awesome Congratulations. Thank, thank you again. You. We have